picked up a couple pineapple the other day to try and dehydrate and I thought they looked pretty good in the store when I got them but once I started cutting them open they they didn't look like they were the, the best pineapples in the world I guess I'm not good at picking them but anyhow I started out by just uh, trying to trim them up and uh, peel them and cut them up into slices for the dehydrator and I don't know the only way I could figure out easy to do it was to just kind of trim the slice the uh, peels off like that and then go back and slice them and as you can see there's a lot of brown spots and stuff like that in these pineapples so I don't think I did a very good job at picking them I mean they are sweet and tasty it doesn't really affect the taste but I've got a, a lot of uh, waste to cut out of them here so I just uh, you know took each one of them and went through and just started cutting them up and trimming them up a little bit it's the first time I'm, I've ever tried dehydrating it so um, his is all new for me and you know then I started slicing it and I found out it's really hard to try and slice it even thickness slices I uh, slices were kind of like all over the place so it made it a little bit harder to get it to dry right but um, I didn't have a core for it either so I just took it and sliced it up and then I just took a little kitchen knife there and just went back and just cut out the center and tried to remove any of the brown spots or bad spots that I found in it they were nice and pretty nice and sweet pineapples but they just weren't the best looking so then I uh, got out washed all the racks through the dehydrator and started to fill them up and I decided to spread it out quite a ways and only put like nine slices on each rack and then I just kept on going back with each pineapple and doing the same thing and you'll see that they all pretty much vary in quality. And with slices this big, it didn't take very long to fill up the racks. So I took the, the four pineapple actually wound up filling up six racks and just a couple on another rack. So I was able to just kind of um, space the racks out every second rack in this unit. It would have actually held eight pineapples if I wanted to fill it right up but you can see this pineapple here was in a little better shape than the other ones too so each one was a little bit different so I, I'll admit I didn't know you know exactly how to pick pineapples and I probably uh, won't do this again either now the dried pineapple that we get at our Amish store was uh, it's basically like uh, really is still really soft and chewy and moist and um, very uh, tender so I'm not sure how this is going to come out here but I got the dehydrator loaded up there and then I just have to you know set the temperature and the time on it so uh, I wanted this to be around 130 I figured 135 so you've got to set this machine a little bit higher to, to get it anywhere near the temperature I found out and then I just set it to run for 10 hours I figured that's about how long it would take so about uh, I think this here is about five hours later you can see it's just starting to you know shrivel up a little bit and uh, starting to firm up some yeah 456 so it's five that's five hours right there and then I just gave it a couple more hours till uh, till about eight and a half hours um, I'm gonna say here I started to uh, check it and it's still a little bit moist it's not really fully dehydrated but um, some of the pieces actually were and it's still you can see it's still a little bit moist on the inside and stuff but I decided to just stop it right here and um, you know just just go for it at this point and just see if you know how good it is at this point so it was really nice and tasty but like I said it's still a little bit moist so um, I'm just gonna take these pieces and stack them in plastic bags here and let them sit for a couple of hours to kind of all even out in the moisture content now it's also there was a problem where I cut the pieces all different thicknesses so you can see where there's varying dryness on them too so I didn't do a really great job on this and there you can see some of those pieces there were a little bit thinner and um, they're really dried a, a lot better 
And some of them there actually tried so bad that they turned brown. So, you know, I'm not not quite sure. But I think it's, you know, it was a different pineapples. All had different uh, characteristics. And they did turn brown. But actually it was still was tasty and sweet when I ate them. So, um, you know, I decided to keep them all. So one thing I'm going to say if you decide to try this, probably the best thing to do would be to get some kind of a core for the pineapple and just remove that hard section in the middle first before you slice it. And it might make it easier to keep the slices perfectly even. But, you know, there it is. I'm going to leave it sit for a couple hours now to all even out in the bags. And then I decided to break it up into four packs. Uh, one we're working on eating now. And seeing how there's still a, a moisture content in this, I decided this has to really be thrown in the freezer or kept in the refrigerator. You know, otherwise it's going to spoil. So basically I'm going to take and seal up three bags with the seal a meal here or food saver here and um, put them down in the freezer and we'll just pull them out as we need them and this is really a great machine to have you can see if you stick the bags in too soon before it cools down between sealing that little red light comes on and it just won't run until that light goes off and stops but it's really really a great machine to have for you know this kind of use so there they are, they're going down in the freezer and the other ones we're enjoying and they actually do taste really great. They're um, super sweet and concentrated and stuff, but they just don't look pretty and they're, you know, not really evenly dried. So, um, and I think you just have to be real careful about the thickness of the slices and selecting the pineapples when you do this. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.